So to answer your question, yes, I am still alive. Oh yeah. So I'm going to try to give you guys a little uh, update what's going on with me. Um, been very busy. A lot of things going on and uh, been real busy at uh, my other job. company I've been working for uh, needed me a lot of hours. I've uh, been doing that and plus I've been doing scrapping and stuff. Uh, Summer times here, stuff's rolling in, people are calling. Uh, I mean, the amount of fun that I am having right now in my life is just unbelievable. Um, and I do apologize that uh, I haven't been videoing a lot of it, but um, trying to get back into it. So I'll give you guys a quick update on uh, what's been going on. So I'm going to try to fill you in on a little bit and uh, show you my, uh, my current vehicles and what's going on with them. Yeah, long overdue update of the old uh, farm truck, everyone's favorite. Yeah, a few things have happened to it. Um, so as you can see, there's been a uh, few changes. For one, it turned into a dually. Yep. Yeah, it sat around for a little bit and... Uh, decided to grow a big fat ass but uh, yeah you know I had these free adapters and fenders and stuff like that and wheels and tires had them laying around from that other truck and uh, I decided why not um, for one you know the old farm truck it's been uh, you know it's been through a few winters so you know it was gaining some rot uh, around the wheel wells here so, you know, I figured I'd trim it up a little bit and see what these fenders looked like on it. And and I decided to bolt on a couple of nice doors. Paint matches pretty good, I thought. Um, Got a little nautical handle here, you know. Can't go without that. Um, oh yeah, I got a new seat. Yep. Nice new seat. I came out of something else that uh, you're not going to see today. But you will see. Um, when I first got this truck, somebody did like a half-ass restoration. They put, you know, aftermarket doors and fenders and rocker panels and stuff onto it. Um... <clears throat> but they didn't really take the time to line anything up. A lot of this stuff was loose, and uh, the windows were, you know, one thing that just never worked good. Uh, neither window went up and down nice ever since I owned it. So through the years, I, I gathered these doors, and, uh, you know, there's no rust at all on them. I do have the other door panels, just haven't really put them on yet. Just kind of slapped them on. I mean, you know... I've never had windows in this thing that worked like that, and uh, they shut nice. The other side doesn't match as good, but you know, still looks pretty good. But yeah, the bed's, uh, <clears throat> the bed's taking a beating. <clears throat> uh, I mean, you guys know this truck has done a lot of work. And uh, it's a lot of scrap runs. A couple little war wounds from the winter time, getting stuck against a tree and stuff like that. But it's all fun and games. Bed's pretty beat up on it. Um, the springs are pretty much shot in the back. I got uh, a truck kind of sits at an angle. It's kind of leaning to one side over here, but uh, we'll get her fixed up.
old 267 still going. It's not doing too good these days. Pulling a lot of oil everywhere out of the breathers. I'm working a little too hard. Make some noises every now and then, but still going, still dependable. It's gonna be coming out soon. And of course, there's not much to say about the 78 Suburban other than just a great vehicle. It's uh, always been dependable. It did go through last winter. I did drive it. Um, kind of had to with some of the moves I was making with some vehicles and stuff. And uh, that diesel let me down all the time. But uh, still running great as always. Didn't like the winter too much. Uh, couple spots. Yep. Old salt got to her in a couple spots, but uh, not bad. Paint job still doesn't look too bad for uh, like 50 bucks. So for the newest addition to my fleet, picked up this 2001 Silverado. It's got the rare uh, Z71 on-road package. Yeah, this uh, was offered to me as a good deal. The lady that owned it, owned it since new. Um, kept up on the maintenance always and um, she decided it was time to uh, go in and get a new truck so she uh, she was gonna trade it in but because of the high miles um, in the year of it they didn't really want to give her much as a trade-in so she she said screw it I'll bring it home put it in the driveway and uh, So a friend of mine told me about it, said it was available, and uh, we came upon a cash price that I couldn't refuse, so I had to pick it up. It's got the 5.3 LS motor in it, runs great, of course, on road, 4x4, um, tows great, 373 posi. And of course, you know it's got ice cold AC, and you know how I like that. Pretty clean inside since I've been using it. Dirtied it up a little bit, been towing with it and stuff. Uh, picking up boats and campers with it uh, from my work, so been getting some use got some tools and you know whatnot back here but it's got the full rear seat doors open up like that it's, uh, it's pretty clean most of these trucks are all rotted out the rocker panels and this thing's not too bad not too bad worst part about it is this uh, that fuel door they all rot out and they made it look like shit so uh, fix that, nice little chrome uh, cover on there, fix that problem right up. It's got some fairly nice tires on it, rims are a little, you know, showing their age. 
don't really uh, not too crazy about the wheels but they work for now for the price oh yeah a little bit of scrap in there So it came just in time for the hot weather. I had to do a couple of repairs uh, to get the AC up to its full uh, full working order, but it's working now, and I tell you, this thing's great. I've never had anything this nice, never had a truck like this, but uh, it was cheap money, and uh, I just can't get over how nice it is to ride. And, uh, I can do just about anything with it. I wish the bed was a little bit bigger, but what are you going to do? Not to mention, not to mention it's the quietest vehicle I think I've ever owned. Yeah, it's running. kind of like it quiet but at the same time be nice to have some duels too see what happens get down will you so uh Look how clean that engine block is. They said this it was never clean. Not one bit of grime or oil on this thing. It's just spotless on here. This thing's so fancy I don't even have to touch the headlight switch. It knows when it's dark, knows when the daytime running light should come on and I mean it's just crazy. Nice stereo, CD player and everything. Yeah, I also got a little wood splitting operation going on. Got this nice wood splitter over here. So, when I get a minute, you know, which is never, but I try to get some of this stuff split. Had to take down about seven trees in the yard. Uh, they were all dead and falling down and stuff, so try and get it all split up so I can burn it a bunch over there you can see it was just uh, some dead trees and stuff and of course free grill seasons in um, I mean it's just been crazy I just dumped off I had about 10 grills in the back of the truck that were all junk and then I got a whole lineup here. Smokers and I mean I just can't get rid of them. They work. People call me to pick them up. I get them. They got full tanks of gas. Some of them even the igniter even works on some of them. It's just crazy. Oh, the wildlife, ladies and gentlemen. The wildlife.
And on top of all that, I've been uh, picking up some of these free fence panels and uh, making myself a little little privacy curtain. So. Keep the pee pee touchers out. Free lawnmower season's in. I'm getting some of those. Got a guy that buys them off me cash now, so if I get any lawnmowers or uh, like tractors, small tractors and stuff, uh, just drop them off. Gives me way more than scrap value, so that's been working out. And in the middle of all that, have been picking up a few parts vehicles. Uh, nothing really great. Uh, be getting a few uh, few junks here and there, parting them out. Um, do have a vehicle down there that I'm going to show you guys probably in the next video. I don't know where I really left off with you guys, but I know the uh, I had that Cummins uh, diesel parts truck there. Um, I didn't end up selling that. Somebody needed that. Came down and um, they were going to use the parts for something else they were building, but. Uh, Sold the whole thing. That went. Uh, you guys know about the uh, the black the black diesel truck, the dually uh, six five. That sold. Since then, uh, the guy I sold it to, he used it. He was scrapping with it, and uh, six five down. It's down. Uh, seized up. No good. So he's uh, he's going to be going back to a gas motor in that. So that's kind of interesting. But uh, yeah, I don't know what else. Uh, yeah, the uh, the two door Caprice. I don't know if I told you about that. After people messing with me on eBay and stuff, uh, I got the I got the money for that. So. That went, and uh, just been a whirlwind of stuff. I mean, it's just been, it's been pretty crazy. So I'll leave you at that for now, and uh, guess I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. I'm back. Just remember, keep those windows tinted. See on the streets. Nice and cold inside, boys. Nice and cold.